This is a little bit scary. I mean, guys, what is going on here? Xiaomi, how the hell are they actually doing this? I don't believe any car manufacturer in the world can manufacture cars as fast as Xiaomi can. And these guys, they're completely new to the game. This is just blowing my mind. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Xiaomi, they have just pre-sold 90,000 electric cars. And initially they got more than 100,000 pre-orders, but now they've said, you know what, if you want to get this order, you have to actually pay a non-refundable deposit. So Xiaomi have taken non-refundable deposits on more than 89,000 uh, vehicle sales for their first ever car, the SU7. In fact, the CEO is so bullish and so confident. He's saying things like Tesla's full self-driving is fantastic. He loves it. He thinks it's fantastic. He's saying, you know what? If you can't wait for one of our vehicles because there's a big, massive, long waiting list, then, you know, buy a Neo, buy an Xpeng, buy a Tesla, buy whatever, you know, that's fine. He, he can recommend some other cars to you if you want to. This guy is so confident in the company that he's making these comments that are clearly coming from a position of immense power. Just days after reports that Tesla is possibly abandoning its plans to use mega casting, which is like an evolution of giga casting. I don't know if that's true, but there are reports saying that Xiaomi has actually given details on the incredible innovations it's using. Tesla's process is known as giga casting. Xiaomi is using this and stamping to produce the SU7. So Xiaomi is one of the manufacturers who went, you know what, Tesla's doing it. Uh, this is a great idea. Xiaomi contacted Tesla's giga casting supplier in Italy, which is called Hydra and they ordered giga casting machines. But then Xiaomi was like, well, how can we speed it up even more? Um, they do a similar thing to Tesla. They actually stamp the underbody. Basically what it is, is the front of a Tesla vehicle is one piece. Um, it's giga cast. The rear is one piece. It's giga cast as well. And the middle is a structural battery pack. Xiaomi is doing something similar, but they are saying that they can manufacture it even faster than Tesla. Tesla are known to be the fastest manufacturer of cars in the world in particular of EVs, miles faster than companies like, um, for example, the Volkswagen Group. But Xiaomi are just saying, I don't know if this is true. They're saying they use two technologies of self-developed die-cast LO materials and self-developed large die-casting equipment cluster system to enable them to build cars at the fastest pace in human history. Unbelievable. Tesla pioneered the use of a large scale die casting, which they call giga casting, using some of the biggest casting machines in the world. In fact, the casting machine for the Cybertruck, I believe is probably the biggest casting machine in the world. It's about the size of a house. And what this does, it replaces many individual components that would be assembled into a larger component with a single casting. Even Toyota's engineers said the giga casting was engineering genius. I think it actually changes 87 parts. You have to weld and stamp and rivet 87 parts together, or you simply giga cast it in one piece. And it's way better. It's lighter. That's one of the reasons Tesla vehicles are lighter than a lot of the competition. It's, it's more rigid. It's stronger in the case of a crash. And from a manufacturing perspective, it means the factory needs less floor space for the car. And there is better safety as the car now has increased rigidity. In addition, die cast parts are, like I said, they are more rigid and they're lighter. And this improves the car's range. Plus it speeds up manufacturing enormously. A number of Chinese producers, including Xpeng and Neo, have subsequently started using die casting technology. Now Neo doesn't use it in the same way that Tesla and Xiaomi do. They use it for smaller sections. Tesla use it for massive pieces. Xiaomi are doing something very similar. Xiaomi's system was self-developed though in conjunction with Heixian, covering an area about the size of two basketball courts. The machine is marked with the name 9100T, which refers to the clamping force of the machine. Now it's believed the Cybertruck, uh, basically their gear casting uh, machine is rated at 8,000 tons of pressure, but this one is rated at 9,100 tons. So it's meant to be the most powerful gear casting machine in the world. I mean, I'm really just finding out about this now. I don't know how this was all kept pretty much hidden from the entire automotive industry, but kudos to Xiaomi for doing this. They've gone, you know what? Tesla's doing this really well. Why don't we do this even better?
And it sounds like they could be. The machine creates the, the rear floor assembly of the Xiaomi SU7 and reduces 72 parts that previously required stamping and welding down to just one die cast part, which can be produced in 100 seconds. For production, this means 840 fewer welding points and a 45% reduction in production time. Car News China says that whereas for the car, it means the component is 17% lighter. So, you know, huge section of the car, essentially about half the car really is 17% lighter and it has a two decibel reduction in road noise. Road noise is just, it's so important in an electric car because because cars are so quiet, you can hear everything. There's no motor, all right, that kind of drowns out some of the noises outside. You can hear everything. So making sure the car is quiet on the inside is extremely expensive to do. You have to have, you know, double insulated glass and it's a big deal. It's one of the things that Xiaomi have done that's helped reduce internal noise, making it really nice and quiet for you while you drive. It also increases the life expectancy of the integrated floor panel, meaning it can easily achieve mileage over 2 million kilometers, say Xiaomi, over 10 times the life expectancy of a traditional floor panel. In other words, they're just saying, you know what, uh, cars do de degrade over time, they rust over time, battery packs are now lasting for insane amounts of time. We're seeing battery packs now in Tesla vehicles lasting for more than 400,000 miles, that's very common now. Um, heaps of Tesla vehicles that are more than 300,000 miles on the one battery pack. So now you've got to start to think to yourself, well, what about the rest of the car? Is it going to last? And Xiaomi is saying the same thing. Well, the rest of the car should last as long as the battery pack does because actually battery packs apparently are, lasting, are going to outlast the life of a car. This is one way you can, make, you can make the entire car last for an incredibly long amount of time. One criticism, major criticism, says Car News China for manufacturing in this way has been the expense in replacing the part if damaged. That's what people say. What happens if you crash into, say, a Tesla a vehicle with gigacasting? It's expensive to replace. Xiaomi has reportedly implemented a three-stage anti-collision design. This means that in the event of a low-medium speed collision, only the anti-collision beam and crumple zone needs to be replaced. Now, how that works in the real world, I don't know. Xiaomi has developed an entire die-casting machine group system consisting of 60 devices and 433 processors, of which the Xiaomi Super Diecasting 9100T, their massive diecasting machine, it's only one of these processors. So it's one of 60 processors. But somehow these 60 processors all combine together to make this the fastest produced vehicle in the world. And that's the key of why Xiaomi is able to sell these cars at such ridiculously low prices for what is an incredibly good vehicle. R&D from Xiaomi's team resulted in 11 patent design innovations and improvements to the industry's existing die casting, giga casting technology, including an AI active injection optimization parameter system. Xiaomi have just outdone themselves with this. It's a staggeringly good vehicle design. I think it's probably the best um, vehicle structure that we've ever seen in the automotive industry. And I'm not exaggerating here. I think, you know, when you consider all this put together, it's like they've gone, you know what Tesla's doing? Fantastic, best in the industry. Let's see if we can one up Tesla. And I think they really have here. The factory producing Xiaomi cars has a high degree, a very high degree of automation. And when it ramps up to capacity, we'll be able to produce 40 cars an hour, or one every 76 seconds. There are over 700 robots in the factory and 181 autonomous mobile robots or AMR units delivering stamped parts. Each AMR uses LiDAR to find its way around the factory floor. Machines are also used for quality inspection. The XI inspection system has an accuracy of 99.9% .9 with pointing out defects instead of the human eye. So, you know, most, most automotive production lines, they have a human that looks at the car at the end and inspects it. And honestly, how good is a human really going to be at that? You know, pretty good, but not as good as a 99.9% .9 accurate robot. That's the future. That eliminates the most expensive part in the entire production line. If you build a car, what is the most expensive part to build a car? It is a human being. Human beings, even in China, it's expensive to have thousands of human beings in your factory. Xiaomi is saying, you know what? Um, 
our cars were selling at these ridiculously low prices. Everyone thought they were going to be losing massive amounts of money on every car they sold. Well, it turns out they're not because they're producing cars in the most efficient way that's ever been done in the history of, of mankind. And it's scary. I mean, look in the factory here. There's so few people on the factory floor because everything's automated. Everything's automated with robots and um, it's incredibly efficient using these enormous die casting machines. So far, everyone reports have been saying that these cars are incredibly good. There's a key reason why there's been, you know, more than 100,000 orders. Kudos to Xiaomi. I mean, mind blown. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.